Before we introduce our next guest, let's set the stage. Cody Rhodes is still the World Heavyweight Champion on Raw, providing some stability after a tumultuous period that saw several champions come and go. I don't understand why we do these recaps. Our audience watches the product. Nonetheless, I'll play ball. On SmackDown, after continuing to dominate, the Dark Horse has become the Workhorse, now holding the undisputed WWE Universal Championship for three plus years. Didn't Miz and Roman Reigns think the champion stint would only last three days? And now he's approaching Roman's record-setting run. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why don't we ask Miz about that misguided prediction right now? Please welcome our guests, the SmackDown and Raw general managers, The Miz and William Regal. First of all, I take offense to the accusation that I ever doubted my champion. I know how to pick a horse, and in this case, I was behind the dark horse since day one. That's rubbish. You never wanted him to be champion, and you've done everything in your power to try to put an end to his reign. Don't insult the audience, Mike. They watch the product. That's what I've been saying. You want to do this, Regal? At least I have a cohesive show. No one can keep track of what's going on on Raw. It's like a freaking middle school play. Guys, come on. How do you even know what's happening on your show? You're too busy off filming episodes of your terrible reality show that no one watches. You just think you're better than me because you've made a living on the myth that you're some kind of technical wrestling genius. Well, I'm here to tell you, no one who matters cares. I agree with some of what you said. I am better than you. That's why they made me the general manager of the A-Show. Okay, maybe we take a break, yeah? No, we're not finished here. You think Raw is the A-Show? Yes, I do. But we can officially answer that question in the ring at Survivor Series. War Games! Fine. SmackDown will see you and beat you at War Games. You're pathetic. We'll see who's pathetic, mate. Okay, let's get to that break. I am absolutely done with that overrated, blubbering British buffoon Regal. He thinks Raw is better than SmackDown? Well, at War Games, the blue brand will reign supreme, especially with you as our team captain leading the way. Hold on. Did you just name me SmackDown's team captain? Yeah, why wouldn't I? You're our champion. You've had the title on lockdown for years now. Yeah, despite everything you've done to try to take it from me. I mean, I assumed you were going to pick anyone but me. Where is this coming from? You sound like Regal. I've been Team Dark Horse since the beginning. Man, I am shocked you think I feel that way. Whatever, Miz. Who else do you have to round out our side? I got your old BFF Finn Balor on board. You're welcome. And even better, I'm going to let you choose your other two teammates. See? Told you I'm on your side. I still find that hard to believe. So Finn and two other partners of my choice. I'll see what I can come up with. Great. Make sure you choose carefully, though. Since Raw has all champions and an established faction making up three quarters of their team. But no pressure. You got this. <laughs> Grayson, shouldn't you be down in NXT losing title matches? Huh, hilarious. But full disclosure, the Grayson Waller effect has lost some momentum ever since you lost in NXT and caught me off guard. That's one way to describe it, but why are you here? First of all, the biggest box office superstar can go wherever he wants. But I'm here because I have the perfect way to rejuvenate my career. I waltz in a SmackDown and beat the WWE Universal Champion. For someone who just admitted they've been on a cold streak, I don't see that happening. Besides, I already beat you twice. Actually, more than twice since our rematch was an Iron Man. But you never once put your WWE Universal Championship on the line in our matches, while I 
risk the NXT title. It's only fair if you give me a chance at your gold now. I'm not sure you understand the meaning of fair, but what's in it for me? I heard you're looking to fill out your side for Survivor Series, and who better to team with than a former War Games winner like myself? Of course, Miz would probably make me team captain once I'm WWE Universal Champion, but we'll worry about those details later. Ah, fine. I'll give you a title opportunity in exchange for considering you as a teammate. But, don't back out when I beat you again. Good on ya. And same goes for you when I'm the champ. But again, we'll worry about those details later. The following contest is scheduled for... Introducing the challenger from... These two are no strangers to each other. In fact, if they didn't constantly beat the hell out of each other, I'd say they might even be friends. Grayson Waller doesn't have many friends. That man has made a pure ambition. Well, he is a smart guy then. He's either going to walk out with the WWE Universal Championship, or if rumors are true, the chance to be on a War Games team. Oof. Oh my God. Oh, and a backbreaker! Right to the spine. And this one might be headed ringside. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Oh, the knees! Did you hear that? Ridiculous standing shooting star. The challenger's looking shaken. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. From the top. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. The champion taking the high risk option to retain the title. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Super oh, human. I do not see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that from them. You've got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. Grayson falling victim to a surge of attacks here. Waller's got to find a window to fight back. For the win! Two count! Got it! And the champ adds to their legacy. Here is your winner. And Here's the dark horse riding alongside an unlikely partner in Austin Theory. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 461 pounds, the Nightmare Damian Cruz and Austin Theory. Look at this, the champ and Theory walking out together. This is SmackDown Solidarity. I don't know if I trust Theory. He has one thing on his mind, and that's himself.
These fierce warriors are set to clash in this epic tag team battle. Some great tag team action in store as the Viking Raiders take on what reports say could be the cornerstone of the SmackDown Survivor Series team. Austin Theory is a talented yeah. guy, and if he really wants to contribute to Team SmackDown, and not just Team Theory, he would be great to have in War Games. Well, Theory isn't just a talented athlete, he's smart. He knows that if SmackDown is doing well, he's doing well. Oh, kick out! Not even a two count for him. Knee. What's she looking for under the ring? Look at that! Sit down! Pinpoint precision right on target. Oh my, what a splash! The sheer force of that landing was probably enough to fracture a few bones. And Ivar is taking control in this match. Yeah, Ivar's really grinding the opposition down. Some focus. Pump kick on the target. Big overhand. Springboard. Springboard misses the target. Ow. Oh my God. What a devastating poison rana. That might have changed the landscape of this match. And Ivar looks clueless as to where he is right now. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. And shoulders up. Larian. Kick to the gut. Uh oh. And Ivar with a wherewithal. Oh, here it comes. Oh, Samoan driver. Ivar's in big, big trouble. That's gotta be it. teamwork from Austin Theory and the champ for tonight at least there's no way a guy Requested five minutes here tonight to show the SmackDown War Games team captain just what he's capable of. I think it's a great idea. And now both of these sluggers are going to be throwing haymakers trying to get a fast victory. Let's find out if Ellie Knight nails the audition or fails to get a callback. Elbow finds its mark. Knight in a state of distress. LA has run into a roadblock. One response after another, back and forth we go. Oh, countered into a power slam. He was elusive there. Standing shooting star press, incredible. So much for being his game, Knight perhaps. Blast off, good lord, taking flight. The one-two punch of high risk, high reward. Knight 
denies the attack. And Knight is finally changing the tempo with that attack. He could be turning his fortunes around. Taking off from the ropes. You can see the anguish growing on his face. Yeah, but he's always one counter away from changing things. Countered it just in time. Send him up here. Up in the suplex. Oh, no. And he saw that coming from Knight. Wow, what a pump kick. Oh, look at this. Neck lock into it. Into it. Nice takedown. Oh, and that buys some time. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Bam. Super kick. Will this be enough? The official sees it and waves off the pen. Spear! That could be curtains for Knight. Is it enough? The cover! Two! Oh, he gets the shoulder up before three. Within inches of victory, only to have it snatched away. This match just keeps getting more and more exciting. All that work, all these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. Jarring impact. Look at this, deadlifting their opponent into a, a gut red suplex, but not done yet. Holding on for another a second gut red suplex. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. Kick out. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Up the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? Soaring. for the win. He kicks out in two. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Knees up. Knees were up. All the breath taken out of their body with that counter. Swinging neck breaker. Counters into a brutal clubbing blow. DDT! Planet. Knight was ready for that. What a pump kick. Oh, man. He avoids the damage. Oh, what a close lock. He's lost some of his win now. Unhinged offense from LA Knight's arsenal. Target is set on LA. He's in peril. This one's over. Two. One. Just barely making it out. I don't know once he executed that, it was good night. You have to wonder how much more can he take. Here he goes for the win. And finally, finally, he picks up the victory. Here is your winner. The night.